Hi, good morning. So I'm making this video this morning. So <sighs> let me sip my tea. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This tea is something else. And it's special. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the tea, so So what I'm here to talk about today is about the struggling that um, I'm having with my trouser when I'm making the trouser. Is this about the struggling that I'm also going through when I'm I want to make a trouser, and that time I'm spending adding that to my trouser. Ah, <sighs> to me it's like a time consuming. Okay, so. I try to see where I can maneuver it, make it easier and make it shorter and also quick for anybody who is kind of rushing, in rush to make a dress or trouser to go to somewhere like in next five minutes, in, no, in next, in next two hours or three hours that she can be able or he or she can be able to make that trouser quick and easy in no time and you have your perfect fit okay so i decided to bring us uh, make something easier like that so i've been discussing it with my friend and i told her i'm going to try this out if it works i'm going to put it out here for you guys to also uh watch okay so um yeah <laughs> i did not introduce myself so sorry about that So my name is Juna Rack. Okay, I'm a Nigeria YouTuber. I'm based in Abuja here. I'm a mother, I'm a wife. But for today's tutorial is going to be about how you're going to get a perfect fit trouser, even with your side pocket, even with your your side zip or front zip or back zip, and you're still going to have that flat fit um uh, trouser. I'm going to I'm I'm going to put this video on the screen so that you see. You're still going to have that that's uh, no rush on on the front of your trouser okay so yeah that is the video you're seeing on your screen right now and um i did it with a simple trick okay so if this is something that you're interested on please keep on watching we are going to start on it start by drafting the pattern right away okay so yeah um yeah if you're seeing my channel for the first time thank you so much guys Thank you for clicking to check me what is going on there. And uh, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly do so. And uh, do give this video a thumbs up if you learn something new from this channel, okay? So thank you so much. I will be seeing you soon. So guys, welcome once more. And uh, here on my table, I have all my tools ready for pattern drafting. I have my brown paper, my pattern master here. And I have my two marker pens I'm going to be using, and then my my heat my heat cup roller and my leg cup roller with my long steel roller. Okay, so I'm going to start here by uh, uh, drawing out my starting points, which is going to become my 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 waistline. Okay, so and uh, remember here, I'm making a palazzo pant, so that means. I need to keep allowance more than the way I used to keep before. So initially, I used to uh, I used to keep like a two inches uh, allowance by the side, but this time around, I'm going to be marking three inches because I'm I'm going to be making a palazzo pant, so I want my pant to have that full volume. And secondly, I'm not um I'm not doing a, a cut and spray method, so I just want to draft direct to the to the pattern okay so that is why i need to keep this three inches uh allowance to the by the side okay so once i'm done i'm going to get my pattern master now so that i can um connect this line to create uh imagine line that i will be using as a guideline okay
So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to be taking my vertical measurement. So remember that uh, I have once made a, a tutorial where I explain proper how you calculate and get your crouch extension and your crouch uh, depth. Okay, so I'm going to be linking that uh, video, the tutorial down below so that you can go and um, watch that video and see how I calculate and get my crouch measurement, okay? So, and then you come back here and then we'll continue because on this video, I'm not going to be go deep into the teaching like that again. So I'm just going to go straight to the point, okay? So now I'm going to start taking my, my crouch length. So I'm placing my tape two inches above. I usually do this, okay? If you have been watching my tutorial, you notice that I always minus two inch above before I take all my measurement because of my waistband, okay? So right here from my waist to my crouch length is um is uh is eleven inches. I minus three inches away from that uh, eleven inches, so I'm marking it from where ever the eleven inches stop there. So right now I'm going to uh, uh, connect this line now to create my crouch length, uh, my crouch line. Okay. So uh, if you're taking uh, getting your crouch measurement, I'm going to go a little bit about it. Okay. When you're going to uh, uh, calculate your crouch measurement, you need to add 1.25 inches to your measurement. You divide your round hip circumference by four, and then whatever thing that gives you, add uh, 1.25 into that measurement, and then you use it as your crouch uh, length, okay? So if you do this, trust me, you are going to get a very perfect fit trouser. So the next thing I'm doing here, I'm taking my, my new line measurement. So from my waist to my new line is 19 inches. Okay, so I'm repeating the same measurement here so I can get um, an accurate measurement. You all know me that I always do this, okay? So um, now I'm going to be connecting this line so that I can now uh, create my new line. So yeah. So I'm going to level it my knee line and also my crouch line, also my waistline, all right? So the next uh, measurement I'm going to be taking is my from my waist to my hip line. So as you can see, I'm minusing two inches away before I'm taking my measurement, okay? So from my waistline to my, my hip line is nine inches. And please, don't use my measurement. If you know your measurement and my measurement are not the same, don't use it. Find out your measurement and then use your measurement so that you can get a perfect fit trouser, okay? But if you're looking out to uh, go into ready-to-wear business, then I won't mind use my measurement to add to your business, okay? So the next thing now I'm going to be working on now is to get my, my take my, my round hip circumference divided by four. So my round hip circumference divided by four is 9.75. My hip is 39 divided by four is uh, 9.75 and that is what I'm marking here, okay? So right now, I'm going to be talking about how you're going to eliminate this, uh, that, uh, that space, okay? The space where you're supposed to add your dot. So what I'm doing right now, instead of me to mark exactly that, um, that nine, uh, 9.75 inches, from that 9.75 uh, inches that I mark, I mark uh, 1.6 inches inward, okay? I mark 1.6 inches away from that place, okay? From here, I have 9.75, okay? But for here, here, after I mark that 9.75, I mark 1.6 away from this on my waistline, okay? I mark 1.6. If you don't want to add that to your trouser and if you want to make your trouser to fit you proper, okay, mark 1.6 inches away from that initial line where you're supposed to mark. You're supposed to connect it straight to that point. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, okay? Initial, uh, initially, you, you are to mark 0 0.5 inch away from that uh, part. But at this point, you're not going to mark 0 0.5. You're marking 1.6 inches. So I'm connecting it to mark to, to that part, point where I mark 1.6 inches to that point, okay? As you can see how the line is, okay? Please, please, please pay close attention to this, uh, this, this, this part, okay? This is where you are going to eliminate that zip part completely, 
okay that uh, that 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 you were supposed to so after then i'm going to from that point now i'm going to be taking my uh my waist measurement okay so now i cannot uh, connect this uh, line this my hip line so that i can make it visible so that you know where my hip line is okay so i'm going to level this part my hip okay so uh once i'm done now then i'm not going to get my my hip cuff and then connect it to meet with my hip line all right So once I'm done connecting it, I'm going to be uh, labeling my front, C front, and uh, the side front. Okay. So the next, I'm going to be dropping my waist or uh, my center front. Okay. From my waist uh, center front, I'm going to drop it with 0.5. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to connect, connect it like so. Please pay attention here and see what I'm doing. Okay. So um. I'm going to connect it like that so that we can now move to uh, the next step. Okay, let me know on the comment section if my explanation is not uh, okay, if you don't understand what I'm saying, or you can just rewatch this video twice again, okay? So the next thing I'm doing right now, I'm going to be marking my, my crouch extension. Like I said on my previous video, I explained to you how to get your crouch extension, okay? So I'm marking two inches here for my crouch extension, and then I'm going to get my my armhole cuff to just twist, connect my cuff like you just see me doing. Okay, just as simple as that. If you have your armhole cuff, use it and connect your cuff. You don't need to do unnecessary drama. Just connect it like that, as simple as that. So I'm going to be doing a butt contour. Okay, so I'm marking 0.5 inch inward like you see me doing. But if you want your palazzo to just be all the way from the butt straight uh free from that part all the way down from your hip line all the way down then you don't need to uh, mark 0 0.5 inch okay but if you want to have that butt control like the way mine is i'm going to put the video now again so that you can see and uh -huh. then you can mark 0 0.5 inch inward and before you you make all the uh, other adjustment okay so I'm trying to use my uh, my hip cuff here. I don't think I'm going to be getting it proper. So what I'm going to do, I think I just need to use my free hand to just make this connection by myself, okay? So I think the free hand is going to give me uh, that perfect cuff the way I want it done using my hip cuff. So I just did that, okay? So now I need to find the midpoint between my crouch line okay so my the midpoint between my crouch line i have 12 inches here and which is exactly my my run tie divided by two okay so my run tie is 12 uh, 24 inches divided by two is 12 and that is exactly what i have here so i'm going to be uh fold my tape twice again so that i can find the midpoint of that 12 so which is six inches okay so you fold your tape twice so that you find your midpoint of whatever measurement you're taking, okay? So I'm going to be repeating that uh, six inches mark there so that I can get the midpoint of this pattern. So I'm going to be marking it here. Also, I'm going to mark it to the um uh to the end of my, to the yeah, to the hemming of my uh, pattern. Just like you see me doing. Once I'm done, I'm going to create this straight line so that I can now move on to the next step okay so uh i need to work on the i need to start working uh on the bottom part to find out how wide i want my my pants to be so you know i'm working on i'm going to be making a palazzo pants so and i want it to be wider but if you feel like my the, the width of my pants is too small then you can add more to it that means when you're going to be keeping allowance from the side you need to mark more than three inches so that you can have a wider space a space where you can connect a wide range okay so the next thing i need to uh, get my cuff ruler so that i can uh, connect my from my inseam create there to connect my inseam there okay so I need to repeat that same measurement by the, the other side to mark it there, six inches. 
so i'm going to get my leg curve ruler and then i'm going to connect it from that point the point where i mark my two inches my crouch extension okay i'm going to mark from there to where i mark my six inches all the way okay so the next now i need to work on the side and i need to start uh, creating this line yeah that is the the side and then the the inseam i'm going to be marking two inches below so from that two inches below is where my my marking is going to start from okay you already know you already seen how my trouser fit okay if this is how you want your trouser to fit follow my instruction follow exactly what i did okay so what i'm doing here i'm blending this part so that i can uh, have a perfect uh, line so i'm adding zero for uh, one inch a uh, one inch allowance for my joining so and also i'm going to be adding a 0 0.5 inch for the center front like just like you see me doing okay so i uh, usually add my joining allowance first before i cut it out because sometimes i will forget maybe if i didn't remember to add at the end of the day I'm, i will start sewing from my measurement which is not good okay remember to add your allowance sorry i'm fast forwarding this part here because i feel like uh, it's not something serious like that okay so yeah and if you feel like it's too fast forwarding i will advise you use um put it on a, a slow motion uh, play a normal play yeah put it on a normal play and then so that you can understand what i'm doing here all right so um connecting this making this line visible so that you can know where exactly um uh, what i'm doing uh like you say it's not that much i'm adding 0 0.5 inch from my waist because i'm going to be using it to join my waistband okay so the next i'm going to cut it out cut all the excess unwanted part that i don't need i'm going to cut it out so basically my front pattern is uh is ready okay so once i'm done here we're going to be moving to the the back pattern so we can draft the back okay so here on my table i have my my another pattern paper which i'm going to be using for my back So the next i'm going to do i'm going to be marking four inches for allowance because i'm working with the back pattern and you know initially back is more wider than the front and uh, with the method i'm going to be using on this tutorial today i needed this much space so if you're working on a back pattern make sure you keep your allowances of four inches and if you're on a small size uh, then keep four inches but if you're on a bigger size then you mark five inches is advisable to mark okay mark five inches so that you can have that more more room for you to create a, or extend the your your trouser when, when you are done okay so what i'm doing here is nothing serious you see the same process at the at the front so i'm marking this line i'm extending this line out because from that part i'm going to be working on it okay so i'm marking my hip line and also uh, now this is where the main uh, thing is going to come in. So like you see me, I mark my 9.75 inches at that point, okay? So right now, I'm going to be marking that 1.125 that I marked from the front. So the same method that I did at the front is the same method I'm doing here at the back, okay? So initially, I was supposed to connect this one, connect this line to create a center front, right? Or uh, a, back, a center back. But I'm not going to do that now because um i still going to do the normal alteration like i normally do on my previous video okay so from that center front that was supposed to mark or the center back rather i'm going to mark um uh, 0 0.75 away from that that point okay i'm going to mark 0 0.75 away from that point i was supposed to connect it all the way straight but just please pay close attention so that you will not miss out this information okay so from that mark where i mark 0 0.75 then i'm going to take my hip measurement from this that that, that point okay so i'm adding one inches a uh, one inch allowance for for each allowance not for sewing allowance okay remember i did the same thing on my previous video okay so the same method i'm doing but the, the only difference here is that i'm drafting the back pattern separately 
okay so from that uh that point where i mark my 1.125 away so i'm i'm going to mark i mark uh, two inches away okay i mark 1.125 away and then from that point where the 125 stop i mark i mark two inches away again so all this thing is to eliminate those uh bulge at the back since we are not adding um uh, that to this trouser okay so from that uh, center back now i mark one inch up for back a uh, reason i raise it up with one inch okay so now i'm going to connect this mark please if you do not understand what i did on this video play back this video so that you can understand exactly what i did so you will not miss out on any information so you will have your perfect uh, fit fan it look a little bit tricky but if you pay close attention you will understand exactly what i did here okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to i have marked my waistline okay my weight is se uh, seven inches without uh, ease allowance okay that is exactly seven inches I just place my tape uh, slightly and then I connect it just like you see me doing. Okay, so now I'm, my, I'm making my hip uh, line visible so that we can continue the other uh, attrition. I would say I will put it that way. So now, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to find the remaining uh, excess that remain from this line. So whatever thing that remain there i'm going to mark it back so that my hip line just like you see me doing okay i always do this if you have been watching my tutorial i always do this and if you haven't watched my tutorial please um click on all the links that i post there to my trouser uh, tutorial so you can go and see what exactly i'm talking about so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to uh connect uh this mark just like you see me doing okay so this is my back pattern is coming out like <laughs> like it should okay so now um already i'm done from the upper part now uh the next thing i need to i need to work on my crouch extension okay so um so like i said this is how the front supposed to be okay so I usually mark 0 0.75 away. Okay, so I'm marking that point now so that you will see that okay, this is where the front is supposed to be. That is where I'm supposed to be taking that measurement like the way it's supposed to be before. Okay, so I put that dot dot line so that you can note that this is the um, this is um the front line where the front line is supposed to be. Okay, so from that point I mark 0 0.75 inward. Okay just i'm just explaining to you so that you understand exactly what i did okay so at this point here i mark one inch after i mark my my hip line uh, 9.75 to that point and then i mark one inch away from that point to that point where my i connect my hip line to stop okay and then um also blend everything for you to understand exactly what i'm doing so that is why i'm taking my time to explain to you here okay so if you don't understand it please pay close attention i'm not fast forwarding this here okay so yeah that is it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to be imputing my my back crash extension so for my next uh my 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 previous video i explained to you how to get your back crash extension right so now I'm going to be imputing my back crash extension. Before then, I need to extend this line away out so that I can uh, uh, put, impute my back crash extension. So from that point where I mark my 0 0.75 inward, so for that point now, I'm going to place my tape that, that is my center back, okay? From my center back, I mark my 4 inches outward for my um, center back, just to create my center back, okay? So now I'm going to connect this line just like that don't use a deeper cuff okay don't use a deeper cuff when you're connecting your back because if you use a deeper cuff you are going to have that funny uh, excess from your uh, your trouser at the front okay so one of my uh, students did that and she complained about the the the, the rouge at the front so it was not fitted so don't use a deeper cuff just connect it just the way i did i used my 
my arm hook cuff and connect it so what i'm doing here i'm trying to think if i should do that same butt control for the front but at the end of the day i didn't use this butt control but i added it here though okay so you will see by the time i'm going to connect uh connect it to connect the whole line okay i try to use this butt control here but the line is going to look funny and it's not going to be nice <laughs> so yeah so that is what you just see me i'm using my free hand to make that connection there so it's not really obvious okay it's not necessary since you have done your butt control from the front uh, it's not necessary to repeat the same thing so here i need to find the midpoint of my of my pattern okay so the same thing like i did at the front the same thing i'm going to do here so I have connected uh, the midpoint, so it's still the same process that I did at the front. So there is no need for me to see go or uh, continue it. So that is why I do it. I did it off camera. Okay. So now I'm going to be repeating that same measurement that I did. So for the back, I'm going to be marking nine inches. Okay. So the front I mark um I mark eight inches, but the back I'm going to be marking nine inches. Okay. So that is how wide I want the back to be. So initially, the back uh, does not supposed to be smaller. So it has to be a little bit uh, bigger than the front. Okay. So just the same thing I did at the front. Uh, the same thing I'm doing here at the back, repeating my measurement so that I can connect it. So I'm getting my long steel ruler now to make my connection. So pay attention and see where I'm putting my marking. Okay. You see that. So now I'm going to extend this line out so that I can now um, work on the inseam. Okay, so just like I did at the front, I'm going to repeat the same thing there. So I'm um, using my leg curve ruler now to connect my, my inseam. So I'm trying to get the accurate measurement that I have there so that I can make all my markings. So uh, after now, I'm getting my, my steel ruler to connect make this connection like so okay so i uh, realized that the the width of my the trouser is going to be too wide i don't want it to be too wide so as you can see the part where i eliminate where um, i put this uh, dot so that is where i eliminate this part so i'm adding a one, one inch for my general allowance and again while i was working on it at first i thought i can make a, a, a center front a zip or uh, that center back but at the end of the day when i cut it out when i make it on my pattern i actually it was a side uh, zip i ended up having okay and to be honest i regret why i had that size zip i would have loved to put that size zip on the back instead of the put the zip at the back instead of the side it wasn't that smooth the way i expect it to be okay so if you're making your trouser I uh, will advise you to put your zip at the back instead of back, uh, the front. And when you are trying to put, either you can use your invisible zip so that you can have that clean, smooth finish. If you don't know how to fix the proper, use an invisible zip, okay? So yeah, um, we are coming to the end of this tutorial and I hope you learned something new from this channel today. So just like you see me doing, um, placing my tip from that point in my my ruler there to make this connection okay if you learn something new for this channel today please and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will not miss out on any information okay uh tutorial of the the sewing tutorial will be dropping soon so yeah just stay tuned okay so i added 0 0.5 inch for my inseam uh, uh, allowance so that is what you see me doing so i'm going to connect it now so once I'm done with this and then um, I will be connecting it like you see me doing, okay? And all the part where I know I need to add my allowance, I'm going to be adding the 0 0.5 allowance just like you see me doing, okay? So from the crouch extension, you see the way I place my pattern and the way I draft it out, okay? Don't use a deeper cup. Don't use a deeper curve there so that you will not have a funky look after you're done. Okay, so the next now I'm going to label it back pattern so that we know that by the time I'm going to cut it on my fabric, I'll know this is my back pattern. Okay, so that is it. The next I need to cut out all the unwanted parts so that I can now, oh, uh, yeah, 
cutting uh, cut out the wanted part for my pattern to be ready okay so basically the this is the end of this tutorial today i want to say a very big thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the string tutorial okay so these are my two patterns ready yeah 